Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are watching two different engines warm up using a $40,000 FLIR T1K camera, which FLIR was kind enough to let me borrow. Now the cold starts we'll be observing include a 2016 Subaru Crosstrek on the left, which has a 2 liter boxer 4 cylinder engine, and a 2002 Honda S2000 on the right, which has a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder engine. Now at first glance this may look like an excessive amount of data shown, and perhaps it is, but let's walk through each of the points as it will make it far more interesting to observe these two vehicles side by side as the video progresses. All of the temperature data points 1 through 5 represent the exact same thing for each vehicle measured in Celsius. Point 1 is the exterior temperature of the oil filter, point 2 is the heater core coolant line, point 3 is the top radiator hose, Point 4 is the front of the engine block, and point 5 is the intake manifold before the air is distributed to each of the cylinders. Both of the engines start at the exact same time, so you can compare these figures directly based on the timestamp shown on screen. On the right of each of the thermal images is a sliding scale, which adapts to the image and shows the temperature range on screen. The bottom number in Celsius and wherever there are dark spots represents the coldest area. The top number and wherever there are white spots represents the hottest area. Beneath their respective videos, we also have the air intake temperature, coolant temperature, and engine RPM read directly from the vehicle. For the duration of the video, the temperature of the ambient air around the car remained at about 7 degrees Celsius. Finally, I've added a plot in the bottom right corner showing oil temperature with respect to time. It'll be interesting to see how the temperature for each vehicle differs, even though the engines have the same number of cylinders and the same displacement. This temperature comes from a thermal probe inserted down each of the vehicle's dipstick tubes. You'll notice the first thing that heats up in the Subaru is the engine belt, as friction within the belt warms it up quickly. On the S2000, a portion of the exhaust is visible to the left of the engine block, which almost immediately shows a hot spot. Both vehicles initially have a cold idle of about 1800 RPM. Once the S2000 hits coolant temps of about 15 Celsius, it drops 100 RPM, and then another 100 by the time it reaches 20 degrees Celsius. The Subaru on the other hand maintains a higher idle speed, and initially you can see that it is warming up more quickly. As the S2000 reaches a coolant temperature of about 40 C, the idle speed continues to drop, while the Subaru remains steady at 1800 RPM, though at this point the S2000 is now heating up quicker, partially a result of having a more compact engine layout. Finally, when the Subaru's coolant temperature reaches 50 degrees, the engine starts to reduce RPM. By the time the coolant is at 55 degrees, the Subaru's idle speed drops below the S2000's and it remains at a lower speed for the remainder of the video. Once the Crosstrek's idle speed does start to drop, you'll notice the oil temperature, which previously increased in a linear fashion, now has a new, lower trajectory. From here on out, the Crosstrek's oil temperature remains significantly cooler than the S2000. At this point, you can start to see that the intake manifold temperatures, point number 5, differ for each. The Crosstrek has a plastic manifold, elevated away from the engine, which does a better job of keeping the intake temperatures down versus the aluminum manifold of the Honda, which is tucked within the engine bay and close to heat sources. By the end of the video, the Subaru has over a 20 degree advantage in intake temperatures versus the Honda, and yes, both of them are still pulling in the exact same 7 degree ambient air. Comparing all of the numbers side by side, the only number which the Subaru is hotter than the Honda is the top radiator hose, but by 15 minutes of warming up, the S2000 is hotter in every way. No doubt, the S2000 is also a better looking vehicle. So after 15 minutes, starting from 4 degrees Celsius, the engine coolant has reached 71 in the Crosstrek and 84 in the S2000, while the oil temperature has now reached 68 and 83 respectively. Looking underneath the Crosstrek, it's interesting to see that the transmission has hardly warmed up, at just 12 degrees C. While I don't recommend waiting to let your car warm up before driving, it's also important to see that if you do warm it up, the transmission will still be cold and need time to heat up by driving. And in case you were never a fan of VTEC, here's scientific proof that VTEC actually is pretty cool. Extraordinarily lame thermal camera jokes. 
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll also include a link in the video description to a significantly more affordable thermal camera if you have any interest in checking out your own engine with one. Thanks for watching.